Hey guys, we're back with another JP Dokkan Battle update. And if you followed me last night or saw my video from last night, you'll know that there was a update and we got the Kefla that's going to be available. Uh, there's still no information specifically about that, but go ahead and check last night's video if you haven't done so already. It goes over the new Kefla card. And um, essentially, she is a pretty damn good unit. I don't like the fact that they gave her like medium, medium, but it does make sense since it's a fusion between two characters who get those attacks or they'll attack and dodge. Uh, but regardless, go ahead and check out that video if you want my opinion on it. A uh, little bit upset about the medium, but it can be broken if it goes off enough. <laughs> uh, anyway, today we're talking about the version 3.8 uh, update. Thank you. Shout out to dbz.space. Uh, so yeah, we have this new information and it's about the Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, we have some of the information over here. Uh, actually, we have something on dbz.space as well, which I didn't realize. We have new items, the bronze medal, the silver, the gold, and the rainbow for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku medal. Let me tell you, that is a little um, uh, broken, uh, actually. Uh, when he Dokkan awakens, he becomes really freaking viable. Uh, let's go over here. I actually haven't taken a look. Okay, page not found, so we don't know anything about that yet. Okay, so these are the medals. This is the bronze medal. This is what it looks like. Silver, gold, rainbow. They're all the same, they just have different colors on them. <laughs> uh, we're going to look at this a little bit later. That is the, um, it says the Kefla banner, which I didn't realize it was a thing. Actually, let me move this down a little bit so you guys can see my URL, uh, in case you're wondering where I'm at. Um, so, uh, we have the database. One, other than that, uh, we have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku skills. Uh, this might not be 100% accurate in terms of the stat increases. That This might be dupe system or not dupe system, I don't know. Uh, but we do have, we do see when the leader ability changes. So when you do the extreme Z awakening, you can Z awaken seven times, right? Um, and the max super attack level starts going up from four on. So before you get to 12, 5, 13, 6, 14, 7, 15, it's pretty awesome. His leader ability, when you, ex when you get him five times Z awakened, changes to a 70% leader. So he has agility type, ski plus three, HP and attack and defense plus 70% up. Makes him very viable. Um, he does not change his link skills from the appearance of what's going on here. So, unfortunately, he's not getting prepared for battle. I really wish he did, but he's not. But I know if you guys have been probably reading this already, his passive skill at the start of the turn, his own defense goes up by 70%. And from the start of the turn, the attack for seven turns, his attack goes up by 120%. Not only does he have immense damage now instead of supreme, he has 120% attack up. So he has the passive a full power freeze and you already know how hard he hits okay so that just raises so many damn questions like um full power frieza how freaking overpowered is he gonna be now when he gets his extreme z awakening <clears throat> i can't wait i cannot wait to run that mono extreme team on the global side you have no idea um but that's gonna be a little bit of time i'd say it's gonna be at least three to four months before we get it on the global side um, but yeah, so he is now going to be an agility type leader. We have the red stones. If you guys have been playing as long as I have, you know you have the red stones now. Um, my full power freezes is maxed out. Uh, I think my, my, uh, all four dupe paths are unlocked on my Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku on the global side. If they're not, I'm going to get another one and I'm going to feed it into him, uh, into the dupe path anyway. And I will probably end up giving him some Elder Kazas just because I have so many of them <clears throat> to get him prepped for this because he's going to do really well on a mono agility team. Anyway, his super attack is now, you know, obviously a Dragon Fist. Uh, immense damage and lowers defense of the enemy greatly. Uh, so that's awesome. Now, the one thing that's interesting, it doesn't say what level you have to be for the super attack to get its immense damage multiplier. I don't know if it's done in the first or if it's just like you have to get up to seven before this changes. But it does change. And, of course, you know, uh, not 100% sure about these calculations. This is from Koala-san. This is just what was in the database. Again, we don't know if this is going to be max stats with dupe system. But uh, right now, at level 140, he's holding 17,000 HP, 15,500 attack, and defense of 8,300. So, if you take that into consideration with a 120 leader, this guy is so broken. It, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Like, these are the stats I'm pretty sure, like, are around with full power freeze. It does full full dupe system. <laughs> so, level 140, I just, I can't wait. These guys are going to be hitting for, like, 5 million damage. It, we're, soon, we're going to be breaking 10 million. 
But uh, yeah, super hyped, guys. Super freaking hyped. This is what it's gonna look like when you're trying to go and uh, awaken. I'm assuming from 120 to the first uh, for the first five levels. Uh, this is the bronze medals. Uh, so that's interesting. So that's cool. Um, but, but pretty basic. It's apparently every time you go and you take it on, it gets a little bit harder as well. So um, and it says, or I guess right over here, you can see uh, it does tell you how many more times you have to extremes the awaken them. So that's awesome. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Uh, Black Star Dragon Balls are back on the um, global side, so that's not really a big deal. Uh, just go ahead, grind that. I'll do a separate video on that. But yeah, so um, that's about it for this news. I just wanted to make sure I got that out to you. One other thing about the K Flip Manor, um, it is available right now. We have total, we have the rates out 10% pull rate. Uh, featured units are going to be uh, K Flip, Fit Boo, Kale, Khalifa, and Bergamo. So uh, we don't know if these two are going to be getting Doken Awakenings. Now I am going to do a separate video on this. So I just want to let you all know, if this is my opinion on the matter when it comes to releasing the UI Goku and the Keifla uh, as undokoned units and then dokening maybe in the future or possibly in the future, I think this is all an attempt to A, go along with the anime obviously, but B, if it's going along with the anime, that means that um, we will get it on global all at once, or we should get it on global all at once. So that means we don't have to go through the double uh, individual banner for them not being Doken and a secondary, you know, event uh, extravaganza type thing to Doken Awaken them. But uh, yeah, that's just my opinion on the matter. That's what I think. I think it's a dual effort to one, to stay along lines with the anime to give us new content and B, to get help a uh, global side get caught up because when this comes to global, by the time this gets to global, they'll probably have Doken Awakenings. But I'll do a full, small, like 10 minute video or five minute video on that. But anyway, guys, this is my short video clip of the data download from uh, last night. Hope you're all so, uh, stoked about that. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Morning, I'm still waking up. Yeah, so I'm super hyped about that. I can't wait for Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku to get his Doken Awakening. I actually do have him on the JP side, so hopefully I'll have the team that can go and actually take this event because I don't have a 120 uh, technique leader. Actually, I do have the Super Saiyan 3 Brawler, but I can't take on his event because I have no Super Saiyan 3s to take on his event and not enough good units to lower it, greatly lower his defense. At least not yet. I mean, I probably do. I just, you know, haven't really looked into taking the event on JP. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.